Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be taking you along with me to Ikea. This will be the first time going to Ikea since lockdown has been relaxed. So I am so excited to go and have a look around, just see what they've got, have a browse and also to kind of see how good they're being with their social distancing and everything. I've heard it's really good, which is why I'm happy to go. Um, yeah, I think it should be good fun. So I will see you when we get there. We have made it to Ikea after a long drive. The queue looks really long, but I'm excited to get in. I hope it won't, it probably looks worse than it is. So yeah, let's see. It's so rainy. <laughs> Ikea now and to be honest it was quite intense and like stressful <laughs> um, but it was a good use of time in the sense that like you know it's something to do it's open um, they did their best of like social distancing with obviously like only one family was allowed in the room at a time like this the room set type thing um, but it was kind of uh, people are quite impatient and stuff so I don't know if you're gonna go definitely like be warned that there is that element where people might kind of come up quite close behind you and stuff um, but at the end of the day like it was really busy today so kind of it was kind of to be expected I suppose um, but we thought it'd be really quiet so I don't know anyway um, we're glad we went and we got a few bits and I'll show you what we got when we go home but I think we're gonna head to a McDonald's drive-thru now treat ourselves since it's like dinner time and um, we're both so hungry so yeah we're gonna do that now so we are back home and I just thought I would show you the bits that we got from Ikea and I'm also going to talk you through in a little bit more detail what it was like just because I think it's like quite helpful because I watched a few going to Ikea for the first time since lockdown videos myself um, before going so I thought maybe it would help um, I hope this angle's okay but we're going with it we basically just got a few kitchen bits um, we didn't really need much we kind of just went for fun <laughs> um and we were gonna like go and get like some food there and stuff as well but um the queue was really long so that's why we went to a uh, drive through instead which was a treat but it was very nice the first thing i got was just one of these like um utensil pots we have this size um for our like, washing up but i just got a little bit of a smaller one so it's hardly smaller but it's a little bit different to put in like cloths, um, like washing up brushes and stuff like that. We also got a rolling pin. As you would have seen in the previous video, we made pizzas and we had to use a gin bottle to like roll out the dough because we didn't have a rolling pin. So that's why we got that. But I also got these, which are ice pop makers. I'm just gonna open them actually. You put some like squash or orange juice or whatever you want into these and then they've got quite a good secure um almost like a plug <laughs> for the top and then it makes a kind of calippo style ice lolly and i just thought they were quite cool and also not too space consuming because you can lie them down and stuff in the freezer which is um good and then i also got a spatula this was super cheap and i just don't have a spatula so i just thought i'll get this and then finally finally we got two of these um, these are just like spice jars um, we already have some of them and I just wanted them to like all be uniform and I'm gonna like write the spices on the top 
So they're really good value as well, actually. I think they were like 250 for four jars, which I think is really good. So I'm really happy with these. And I much prefer the ones with like a screw top than the ones with a um, sprinkle top, just because I like just using a teaspoon to like kind of measure out how much I'm putting in of things. So I'm very pleased with the purchases. Despite not getting a lot, I am pleased with them. So that's good. So I just wanted to talk about Ikea in a little bit more detail. There was a really long queue to get into the car park for us. Um, but then the actual queue, although it looked long, it really didn't take too long to get in. But I would say the queue almost like set the tone for the whole trip because there was a woman who like stood right behind us and I was kind of like, what are you doing? <laughs> it kind of like made me feel a bit annoyed because I kind of thought, well, I mean, they'd marked it on the floor very clearly um and so yeah that was a thing but i was just like okay it's fine like i made sure to sanitize every opportunity there was and um, they had hand sanitizer around the store so that was good um and then they had people checking that like there weren't too many people in each um room set up at a time so that was nice because it meant that you could like browse the rooms as you would have seen in the clips um we like had a look around the showrooms and that was lovely that was like the best part but kind of as it went on it did get busier and um, even though we went quite late in the day so i wasn't really expecting that but i think um basically people were just a bit impatient and like would kind of push past and stuff but i do think on the whole people were quite considerate and it was a really good experience. I think it's definitely a fun day out for me at least. I don't know if any of you will relate, but I love having a look at the showrooms and just taking it in and having it as a bit of a day out. So if you're like that, I definitely think go, but I think if you're very worried about social distancing and being very, very cautious, I would say probably not to go because it wasn't that stringent in my opinion. Um, so, yeah i'm pleased we went but i definitely think that if you were really really cautious and worried for yourself then you probably are best not going um so i hope that helps anyone who might be considering going to ikea it was definitely a fun day out and it's something to do isn't it in lockdown where there's not so much to do at the moment um especially if you're limiting seeing people and stuff like that so I guess it is something to do and it was a really positive experience on the most part so yeah I definitely think take what I say with a pinch of salt but hopefully you will make your own judgment whether you want to go or not um I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that gave you a bit of an insight I know it sounds a bit of a weird one but I like I said I enjoyed watching these before going myself so um hopefully you have enjoyed this too and if you did please do leave me a comment and like and subscribe i would really really appreciate it thanks so much bye